Guys, let's start here with the first omoplata. That, that's one of the most basic ones we, we have here. And it's also one of the most efficient ones. I remember the time I started doing omoplata. The reason I started was because I had a friend, I'm gonna even mention his name here to give him the credit, it's called Andre Freitas from, he was from a city called Araruama. And uh, I, I was in one trip to compete in one tournament and we were, we were in the same hotel and then he told me like, hey Bernard, why don't you start using Omoplata? Omoplata was one of his best moves. And I was like, what do you mean? And then he was like, man, it's so simple. All you gotta do is grab this lead, grab your opponent's leg, open your legs and hit the Omoplata. And then I was like, man, it cannot be that simple, you know? I mean, like, I, I, I can't believe it's that simple. And then when I started doing that, that's all I had to do it was pretty much, that's it. I had to grab my opponent's sleeve. I had to grab underneath the, his leg, on the same side, open my leg here and hit the omoplata, right? Of course, little by little, I started figuring that that was not all. I, I had to put like a little bit more details and a little bit more adjustments to make sure I could increase the percentage of like times that I would get it, right? In the beginning I was just doing that, it was working, but nothing like amazing. And then I started like, trying to put more details to make sure my opponent could not defend it. And then I developed this entire game about Omoplata that uh, I can find it from everywhere and every single defense that he does, I'm gonna have an answer right away. That's the goal. So in this case, for example, let's imagine if I find my opponent he has like, he's making posture here, he's pushing up, he's strong there. All I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna grab his leaf with the pistol grip here to make sure I can move his arm better. Now I'm gonna control the same leg underneath his leg here, right? He's gonna keep posturing up, he's strong there. I'm gonna open my clothes here. Guys, pay attention, my right foot's gonna go on his shoulder. So this right foot's gonna go on his shoulder. Now I'm gonna lift my hip up as much as I can. Once I did that, look how he lose his posture. Now I'm gonna close the omoplata here and I got it. What's important here? We're gonna talk a lot about how to finish the omoplata, but just to start here, what's important? I'm gonna control his pants and twist his arm here. That's one of the most important things, right? Once I did that, I'm gonna bend myself and I'm gonna control his belt as well. It doesn't need to be like his belt. Could be anywhere around his hip. So in this case, I'm gonna control his belt, but it could be his pants as well, anywhere around his hip. So I'm gonna control here. Then I'm gonna control his pants over here. And now if my opponent tries to roll, just try to roll this, it's hard for him. Look, he's stuck, he cannot roll. So that's my goal. I don't wanna let my opponent roll it. That's my first goal here. Guys, my second goal now is to place my left hand on his armpit, right? So my left hand, this one that's on his pants, gotta go to his armpit. So I'm gonna use this hand here as a pulling, right? So look, I'm gonna switch his hand and now my right hand is gonna work as a pulling and I'm gonna come up, right? If you guys can see, just move a little bit this. If you guys can see, my goal is to have my left hand on his armpit, right? Many times when I'm rolling, I even like a joke with my partner, with his friend of me, that if my hand gets here, now I have like 90% chance to finish the omoplata. When my hand is here, for example, I cannot find his lapel, I don't have as much chance because if he rolls, his hip is gonna go underneath my armpit and I'm gonna lose the position. But if I get here, if I get his lapel, my armpit is blocking his hip. So if he try to roll, try to roll this, he's stuck, right? Now what I gotta do is, I'm gonna stretch my leg down, I'm gonna hip skate, hip skate, hip skate. He's already tapping, but the goal here is that I would hip skate as much as, as, much as I can, like putting his chest on the mat. So for example, I would hip skate, hip skate until this point over here. Right? This point, look how he's flat. Right here he cannot roll, he cannot do anything. So all I would do right now is bend my legs, come up, and the submission is there. So one more time. 
So, fighting against Luis, he has my control of my two lapels. I'm gonna control his leave. I'm gonna control underneath his leg. I'm gonna open my guard. I'm gonna step on his shoulder. That's one of the most important parts, especially because many times they're facing me here. So look, I gotta do this, look. Once I did that, I'm gonna lift my hip up and close the omoplata. Probably he's gonna try to roll. So if you try to roll, look, I have his pants and his hip. So keep trying to roll, Luis, he cannot. When I fuse the right time, boom, I'm gonna switch and I'm gonna come up, right? Guys, look how he's up here. Let's just switch and reveal this. Look how his shoulder's not on the mat. I gotta put his shoulder on the mat. His shoulder cannot be like this. Here I cannot tap him. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stretch my leg down. I'm gonna hip scape, hip scape, hip scape, hip scape until he's flat out. Once he's flat out, I used to joke that I'm gonna tell him some secret, right? So I'm gonna bend my legs. Imagine you wanna tell him something, you go to his ear, and he's gonna tap during the row. So, one more time, very quick. Now without teaching, I'm just gonna do the move. Lift up, yeah, don't fall, don't fall. No. Try to roll. Cannot roll. That's it.